Now, Archangel Gabriel offers us the opportunity to master the qualities of self-empowerment, communication, openness and creativity. But Gabriel also teaches us about justice and prophecy and, in, and how to use our intuitiveness to make better decisions. Now, when we call upon or ask for support from Gabriel, if Gabriel does draw close, you should normally experience Gabriel's energies to the left-hand side of your body. As chief of the cherubim, the main lesson that Gabriel's vibration brings is to help us attain balance between being dependent and independent. The process of learning this calls for us to experience many births, deaths and rebirths. And each time that we go through these processes, it enables us to become more self-sufficient. Because what we have to learn to do, guys, is learn to balance our own needs with the needs of others. Now, sometimes it might be that we need to balance our male and female aspects for greater success. But if you have a look at where in your life you are not having balance, let's say, for example, between work and family values and family life, again, Gabriel can help you find the balance. Now, Gabriel calls for us to hold what we feel is intuitively true. So Gabriel, with his army of the cherubim, will try to ensure that we learn to follow divine will rather than our lower ego. So, for example, um, Archangel Gabriel tells us that the energies we feel when we are doing what we know is the honorable and right thing to do, it's that feeling that we get. When we have that feeling, that's when we're fully aligned with divine will. And divine will, when you can feel that and sense that, that takes you straight into the vibration of the cherubim and Archangel Gabriel. So if you've had that experience where you know, even though you may, let's say, for example, lose out in some way, you know it's the right thing to do and you can feel that. And this, when you know that you're doing something that's right, this, there's a very special feeling that brings and that feeling that you get is, is when you are in perfect alignment with Divine One and Gabriel. So when should you call upon Archangel Gabriel? Well, you can call on Archangel Gabriel at any time, but Gabriel's particularly good when you feel uncertain or you need to choose the right path or make the right decision and you're just at a complete loss as to which way to go. So that's what you need to do. Work with Gabriel when you feel lost. Now, the Ascension Codes that we're going to work with today are these. All right. So the first one that we're getting here is the inner brain illumination, connection to the higher self, and opening the third eye. Now, what we're going to do today is working with Gabriel, we're going to first of all get you, if you can, to first focus just purely on chanting Gabriel's name. However, although I'm saying Archangel Gabriel because that's what we normally refer to Gabriel as, when you want to align correctly to Gabriel's vibration, you need to pronounce his name right, in, as his Hebrew name which is Gavriel, Gav, V, G-A-V-R-I-E-L. And what you need to do is take a deep breath in and then call Gavriel as if you're trying to call someone that you're trying to wake up very gently. Pronouncing Gavriel's name this way, all right, will draw Gavriel to your side. 